Let's take a look and see what family we've got here. Hi, we're the Harmony family. I'm Erin. And I'm Jacob. I'm an RN at a local clinic. And I work in construction. <laughs> we have three sons, Jake, who's 11, Ian, who is five, and Grant is three. Grant is a mama's boy. Go have mommy dress you then. Come on, your pajamas are in here. I cannot go to the bathroom by myself. Can you step out so I can go to the bathroom, please? I cannot leave the house. Okay, out without him following me out the driveway. Oh, this little boy's very clingy. Grant gets angry. He'll bite the couch. Right here. Yeah. Bite in the armchair. Ian, who is our middle child, he's the instigator of the fights. He does get into it with his brother a lot. Oh, my word. Wait, I want it. I want to get Jake, he's got uh, younger brothers who aggravate him quite a bit. <laughs> Ow. I think I'm the disciplinary person. No, get your butt off. Then don't get off the couch. I discipline them when it's needed. We don't spit. We do go out to eat probably at least three times a week. Yeah. We're usually prepared for embarrassment. <laughs> Bedtime for Grant, we usually put him in his bed to begin with. He'll sleep for about four hours, and then he will wake up, he will grab his pillow and bring it into our bedroom. This is not good. Yeah. Quit saying that. Stop! I feel like the family's falling apart. So please help us. You guys need some good help. I'm on my way. Hello. How are you? Pleased to meet you. I'm pleased to meet you too. I'm Erin. I'm Jo. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jake. This nice is Jo. Jo. This is Grant. He's three. Hi, Grant. Pleased to meet you. Shake Jojo's hand. Can you shake her hand? Say hi. This is Jo. Hi. Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Jo. Hi. How are you, Ian? Pleased to meet you. Can I shake Jojo's hand? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> I know that you've got issues that need to be resolved, but we will get to the bottom of those. So for now, what I'm going to do is just watch the pair of you and the family and uh, just kind of slide in, all right? OK. OK. Sounds okay. good. As soon as I arrived, Mum had to go on an errand, and that word seemed to rub Grant the wrong way. No! Mommy, Mommy's going to run to the store a little bit. No, I'm OK? It's fine. I'll be right back, though. Anytime Aaron leaves, Grant will throw a fit. He'll want 20 kisses and buy hugs from her. And I'll end up grabbing him, and he'll kick and scream. Grant, I'll be right back. Or I'll just hold him. Grant, I'm going to be right back. Oh, word. What a palaver. He just started chasing her down the road. He was just running to catch up with the car. Look at him running. And then all of a sudden she stopped. I thought, what is she doing? She's just making matters worse. My word. To see Grant following me down the driveway when I'm trying to leave, it's hard. Um, I feel guilty. Get away from the van. <laughs> van. I'll let go, but you can't chase her. Whilst Mum was gone, Dad and I were keeping an eye on the boys. Hey. Hey. Wait, guys. Ian and Grant fight a lot, and it's really annoying. And they scream. They're usually all right. 
I usually go inside if they're playing out here. No, it, it would be one thing if the boys were playing, but they weren't. They were being really rough. And Jacob just walked away and ignored it. Quit. Ooh. <laughs> When Erin got back, she went to put Grant down for a nap. OK, we're done. And when she took the computer off, he just lost it. I have waited and waited. Get off your bed again. You have to go in the breezeway. At one stage, she placed Grant outside the house into the cold conservatory area where he was banging on the door to get in. This just spiraled out of control. Coming up on Super Nanny. Tonight's special, Kicking and Screaming. Hey, what? So would you mind if I just kicked out in the living room? That'd be great. And Joe stays over to catch a bed thief. I think I've seen enough. When Super Nanny returns. I was seeing Mum just shooed Grant into the foyer like some pet. You don't have to just watch. <laughs> Quit acting like an animal. Erin's former discipline really needs to change. Later that evening, Mum was trying to gather the boys in before they went out for dinner. He's not doing anything to you. Come on, go. <laughs> I just don't listen to Mum. Are you the disciplinarian in the family, or does Dad share that as well with you? No, I'm more of a disciplinary. I get mad because I have to tell him to discipline him, and by that time, they could care less. He's more quiet. Um, uh, and now I have to go find the little one out in the bushes. Grant, come on! Let's go. Come back up to the house. No wonder Mum feels like she's doing all the discipline. I didn't see Jacob help her out at all. I shouldn't have to carry you up here. That's how he always talks to you. Like that noise. Yeah, all the time. The Harmony family eat out often, so it was a great opportunity for me to be able to see how Jacob and Aaron handle the children when they're out in public. When we do go out to eat, it's ridiculous. It's very embarrassing taking them out in public. Listen, you need to eat. I'm eating chicken. I need a Nike. Honey, I don't want you to get hurt with it. Hey, you're open. Oh, Eating out with the Harmony family is absolutely atrocious. Both parents are humiliated and embarrassed throughout the whole event. The children ran to the rave, they're up from the chairs, from the table, and misbehaving constantly. No, 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 Grant. No, no, give me. When we go to a restaurant, it's crazy and it's loud. My thought when we go out to eat is just hurry up and get it over with. Oh, I want to eat so Not tonight. I want to eat so <laughs> OK, that's enough. <laughs> There's no way that Erin and Jacob and the boys could have possibly enjoyed spending time in that restaurant. I know you're having a lot of trouble with Grant getting out of bed. Basically, Grant comes in here and pushes me out of the way, so I just go in there so we can get some sleep. Oh, really? A three-year-old kicking Dad 
Out onto the couch, this one I had to see. So would you mind if I just kind of... Sure. ..kicked out in the living room there and put my feet up and just make myself comfortable? Yeah, that'd be great. At 3.30 in the morning, I heard the pitter-patter of footsteps and out came Grant and he pitter-pattered into his parents' bedroom. Why on earth didn't Mum and Dad say anything to Grant? And then Dad came out. Poor old Dad. Reduced to the couch. Hardly seems fair, does it? It's madness. This certainly isn't any good for Mum and Dad's relationship. The kids are just taking over. We're going to make some big changes around here. I think I've seen enough. You have a lovely, cosy home and you do have three very intelligent, lively lads. But you guys are pushovers. Why? I think we've just gotten to the point where we have given up. How good does it feel when your baby boy runs down that driveway? Mummy, don't go, don't go. I need you, I need you. I just feel guilty leaving him if he wants to be with me. Every time you validate his need to want to be with you when you stop the car, one more cuddle, one more kiss, the message you give is that you don't trust his own father to be with him. How does that make you feel? I think I've gotten used to it. Discipline. Where did that word go? because it doesn't exist in this house. Jacob, why do you say nothing to the children? Why do you sit back and just observe what's happening without supporting Erin? I guess I don't have an answer. I've... Maybe, I don't know. What is going on when you can allow Grant to hit, to spit, and to treat the pair of you like doormats. When we give in, then he'll be quiet, and then we can have some peace probably after that. When Grant was outside banging in that conservatory area, that was not peace and quiet, was it? No, not unless I went in there and hid. This is clear cut. You guys don't take ownership of your own authority in this house as parents. Your children do. Let's talk about bedtimes. What on earth is going on with bedtimes? It's out of control. <laughs> We'd like to know. Of course Grant is getting up in the middle of the night because he's guaranteed he can kick you out of bed, Jacob, and he can snuggle up to Mummy and have her all to himself. And at the cost of what in your relationship? We don't get to spend hardly any time together. How sad is that? Pretty sad, pretty frustrating. Even though it was hurtful, I knew it was the truth. And maybe that's what needed to be said to bring out the issues. She did call us a pushover. And I guess I can't argue with her. Are we going to start taking some control back here? I'm ready. Put the balance back into the Harmony household so we can have some harmony. Some harmony would be good. Well, let's start then. Coming up on Super Nanny. <laughs> Mommy wants you to get down from the counter now. Grant's waving his magic wand. It hurts my feelings when he does that to me. But Joe stops him from getting his wish. You do not 
hit mummy. When Super Nanny returns. But first, a tip from Super Nanny. Parents, if you're leaving your toddlers in the care of others, sneaking out and not telling them will only make them anxious. Instead, make sure that you reassure them with confidence that you'll be back soon. When I arrived back at the Harmonies household, I saw them all outside playing football, so I joined in and had some fun. What are you guys doing to Here, Look, Daddy's got the football now, Ian. I don't care. The whole family were having fun, and then Ian decided to hog the ball. <laughs> throw it to Daddy. No. Who are you going to throw it to? Ian, here. No. Erin, Jacob, come here, please, quickly. Any nonsense, you go straight in with saying to them, look, stop that behaviour. They carry on with it, you place them, OK, outside the game. Ian, if you can't play with the family, then you're going to have to sit out. You sit out. Warning, please. No back talk. No back talk, Ian. You're going to have to sit out if you do. You. OK. But he was given a warning, but he didn't listen, and Dad had to place him onto a naughty spot outside. Come down to his level. Why is he here? You're here because you talk bad to Dad. Do not talk to me like that. That's what I want to hear from you. Come on. Do not talk to me like that, Ian. Now you stay there. Now you stay there. And think about what you've done. And think about what you've done. Let's move away. Move away. Ian pushed the boundaries. He got up. He refused to sit in the spot. Hey, walk authoritative. Head up, Jacob. Ian, you said on your naughty spot. Dad had to consistently go back and place him onto the spot, and it went on for a really, really long time until it was time to go inside the house, and then we had to place the naughty spot inside the home. As soon as we placed Ian on the naughty spot, Grant started to play up. <laughs> Grant, Mommy wants you to get down from the counter now. Grant hit her, but she completely ignored the behaviour as if it never happened. Why are you allowing that? Take this from his hand, place that away. You do not hit Mummy. What is going on here? It just hurts my feelings when he does that to me. Get tough. Right now, there is no room for tears. Those kids need to realise that they cannot hit you in the face and treat you that way. Let's go. Let's go. We ended up having two children on the naughty spots. Pretty hectic for both parents. And that's where he's sitting. It's doing three minutes, and then you'll come and get him. I was ready to call it quits, but Joe would come up and periodically put a little buzz in our ear, so that kept us going. You need to sit on the naughty spot. Aaron and Jacob, they didn't give up. They carried on, they were consistent, and they got the results that they wanted. Say sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mommy. Good job. Say that I'm sorry, Dad. Sorry. Okay. It was exciting seeing him get to that breaking point. We're taking that good step towards taking control of all the situations. What we are going to address is Grant's anxiety when you leave. And if we're to be honest, your anxiety too as well, <laughs> OK? Mm -hmm. If Grant had his way, Mum would never leave the house. So I'm going to show them the separation technique. OK, first step. You've made up your mind you're running an errand. Get yourself ready. The second step, to confidently come up to him and tell him that you're running an errand and you'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay. Third, leave. And the fourth, to engage him in something else so he can be focused. OK. Sounds good. Sound good? I'm ready. All right, so let's do that now. Let's set it up. OK. I'm going to get ready. OK. I didn't think it was going to work at all. We've tried things. It didn't matter what it was. He was still going to come with me somehow. But I was willing to try anything.
Grant, what? Mommy's going to run an errand, and I'll be back in 10 minutes. OK? Hug and kiss. Bye. See you when you come back. Okay. Dad stepped up by making sure that Grant was occupied with something else. Perfect. I was happy because I didn't have to hold him down and fight with him on running down the road. Thank you guys for being good. First time Mum tried the separation technique, absolutely perfect. It was so great to see. Grant didn't do the 100 meter dash, and Mum just drove off into the sunset. Coming up on Super Nanny, it's a pajama party at the Harmonies. <laughs> the next time he comes out, is to say nothing. And Mom tries to catch a break. Who does homework? Mom. Dad. Mom, there you go. Back of the screen. Oh, it's dropped. Better put it up. When Super Nanny returns. The parenting roles and the responsibilities in this house are really out of balance. So I wanted to show Erin and Jacob how unbalanced they were. One tray for you, Erin. And one tray for you. OK, let's go shopping. So who goes to work every day? Both of us. Yeah, yep. OK. Nice serving at work. Who makes the effort in disciplining the children? I'd say a little bit of both. Yeah? OK, one bag of discipline, one bag of discipline. All right, OK, who does bedtime? Mum. Mum, OK, bag of bedtime. Who does dinner time? Mom. Mom, bag of dinner. I loved how she was getting to the point in a very creative way. Who does homework? Mom. Dad. Mom, there you go. Bag of discipline. Oh, it's dropped. Better put it up. Who does bath time? Mom. Mom. <laughs> and who gets the kids dressed? Mom. Mom. One hand. Like that, like we started off. OK, so we'll stay like that for how many, what, 12, 13 hours? I feel pretty yeah? good. For Erin and Jacob, it's about compromise, it's about give and take, and at the moment, that's not happening. I'm already sweating. See where we're going with this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jacob needs to be more involved with the family, and Erin's got to trust Jacob with these responsibilities. I mean, she shouldn't have to do it all. The trading task technique start to compromise. Will you bath the children tonight, or will I do homework tonight? Sounds like a good idea. When you step back, you come forth. It was the first time in a long time that we actually communicated on who's going to do what. Who's doing bath time tonight? I'll do it. Who's going to get the children dressed into their pajamas tonight? Who's going to do dinner? I'll do dinner. All right. Bedtime? I'd rather do bedtime. OK, I'll clean the house. That looks better. Jacob? It's fine with me. It will be interesting to see how the pair of them juggle their tasks throughout the week and who takes on what. Teaching Jacob and Aaron how to get control of their family inside the house is one thing, but some of these children's worst behaviour has been outside the house, so I'm going to teach Mum and Dad the dining out technique. We can't always assume that the restaurants we go to are going to have kids' things to do. So always make sure that you're prepared to have something to occupy the children whilst they're waiting for their food. I had Mum fill a backpack with all kinds of toys for the kids so that they won't get bored and play up at dinner time. Don't forget your backpack. It was important before Mum and Dad sit down that they set up clear expectations for the boys. I want you guys to sit at the table. I want you guys to use your manners. And I want you guys to keep your voices down. You see that grunty noise? <clears throat> Any nonsense like that, when we're in that restaurant, you'll be given a warning. And if you both carry on, you'll be outside in the car. Full stop. So let's go into the restaurant and let's have fun and enjoy ourselves. OK? Grant, you need to keep your voice down. <laughs> OK, the next time he does that, what I want you to do is to give him a warning. So you're not saying you need to keep your voice down. I want you, it's the voice you're projecting, but it's a low tone. I like the idea that Joe gave us to let the boys pack things that they want to do. I think it was a good idea. So how was your day, huh? It was good. It was good. For the first time, both 
Erin and Jacob and the boys had a really lovely meal together. Whereas before, it really wasn't enjoyable. It was like, hurry up and eat, we gotta go, because we don't want something to happen. Mommy and Daddy are very they happy. They to be like this all the time. <laughs> it just seems strange. It wasn't as crazy as usual. Oh, Mommy and Daddy are so happy. It Here, was Grant. Biden. So when we got home from dinner, it was time to get Ian and Grant off to bed. Tonight, I would like Dad to get Grant dressed. I persuaded Erin to let Jacob do bedtime tonight because it will be great to show Erin that he's capable and more than willing. Let's read the book. It says, Pooh's best day. I turn the page. I knew Jacob was in the bedroom reading the boys a story and they were in their beds and it was quiet, it was going great. It almost made me really nervous. What are you nervous about? That it's gonna spiral out of hand but he's gonna learn to be able to do that. And it will free you up as well to do things that you can do for yourself. In other words, put the martyr crown down. <laughs> she talked to me and made me relax and, and let it go. And um, it just showed me that Jacob is perfectly capable and he was doing a great job. Night night, Ian. It's one thing to teach the parents the stay in bed technique when you're placing your child to bed, but it's another doing it in the middle of the night. So I thought it was important to make sure I stayed around. <laughs> Grant went to hop in bed with Mum, but she was right on board with the techniques and she took him straight back to his bedroom. I'll see you in the morning. The next time he comes out, he's going to say nothing. Okay. Okay, you're doing very, very well, all right? Okay. Mum has done absolutely fantastic tonight. Grant came out twice and she confidently ushered him back into his bed where he's managed to settle himself and gone off to sleep. I was pleasantly surprised that I only had to take Grant back two times. I only went to the second step, um, and he did stay for the rest of the night. It was time for me to leave, so I snuck out to let the family get some sleep. Coming up on Super Nanny. Oh, hey, huh? Dad's energy sputters to a halt. I would like for him to try this much instead of this much. She left. But Grant's still running on all cylinders. <laughs> when Super Nanny returns. But first, a tip from Super Nanny. Parents, children sometimes think that they can't be disciplined outside, but a naughty spot can be here, here, or here. As long as you have it up here, a naughty spot can be anywhere. If you guys are bad in the restaurant, whoever's bad has to go out into the car. <laughs> Come on, Dad. What kind of an explanation is that? Come here. Let's replay. Mommy expects you guys to sit at the table, use your manners, okay, and listen to Mommy and Daddy. That's right, Mom. Set those expectations. Which picture are you going to color? This one. Man, you guys are coloring so nice. I like it. Great job there. You're keeping the boys busy with their toys. A peaceful dinner. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mommy has to run an errand, and I'll be back in 10 minutes. Well, let's just see how Grant takes this news. He wants a hug. It's too late for hugs now. You need to engage him. She left. Don't hold him down. Take him to do an activity. Look, Bubba's getting the motorcycle out. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Back to square one. Uh-oh. The boys are starting to act up. Oh, 
are you going to do something, Dad? This is ridiculous. Jacob, what's it going to take to get you to react? If you yell again, Grant, we're going to sit on the naughty spot. Good job, Dad. Stepping it up with discipline. Right over here. Jacob, stick with it. Hey, huh? Jacob, it's fine to ask for some help, but what about some discussion? I feel like he's trying a little bit. and I, I would like for him to try this much instead of this much. I'm I need you to tell Mommy you're sorry. I'm feeling frustrated, and I know Jacob probably feels the same way. You guys need to be talking. I'm heading back. So, are you guys ready to take a look at this footage? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Come here. Let's replay. That's fine. Mommy expects you guys to sit at the table. Use your manners. That was nice to share. Grant, thank you. He's all... Congratulations! It's great. How good did it feel, Jacob? We weren't embarrassed. It was a nice, quiet dinner. It was very successful. Well done to the pair of you. Great to Thanks. see. Tell you what I see. There's no communication between the pair of you. If you're doing it together, you're in it together. You've got to talk. You've got to say where you're at so the other one can take over. It's hard when things are crazy like that to communicate well. So how was you both left feeling? Even though it may Angry. have gotten done, it just felt like, well, it got done, but we didn't feel good about it. Exactly. He wants a hug. She left. That part upset me when he said he wants a hug. Made me feel guilty, but I knew I already gave him one. So I was upset that he brought that up. Yeah, but you shouldn't have left that way. We should have got him doing an activity, and then you should have left. Jacob, that's your responsibility. You're meant to be here supporting Erin. I just think that I should have been allowed more time. Life is not like that sometimes. At the drop of a hat, a phone call happens, and you've got to shoot off out. Got to be able to think on the hop, there and then. Did you see what the boys were doing? Why didn't you address the situation? Why didn't you even give the children a warning? I mean, I, th I guess I didn't know what to do. You turned a blind eye. You ignored it. Yeah, I'll admit, I, I did ignore it. See and say something. React all the time. Aaron and I missed a lot of things that we need to work on. So you ready for some more work so we can start improving this? I'm Let's ready. move forward, yeah? Yeah. OK. Coming up on Super Nanny. Come on. Joe's got an exercise that makes Dad sweat. <laughs> Dad, look, look, he's pushing me, he's pushing me. Say something. Come on, say something. You're making me sweat. When Super Nanny returns. Jacob can be very delayed with his reactions to what he sees. It is important that he learns to nip bad behaviour in the bud. And so I introduce the I see, I say technique. I want you to see and then say something. This is about you giving a quick response so that you react to the children's behaviour, which proved to be very challenging for Dad. Brushing teeth. Give me a response. Oh. You see your kids hugging, what are you going to say? Thank you guys for being so nice to each other. Too late. Thank you guys for brushing your teeth. Please don't yell. Guys, I don't like that. Come on. Dad tried well. I mean, he did. But there was still quite a big gap between what he saw and what he said. Your kids are shouting, you get off me, you stop that, you stop that, stop that, don't hit me. Oh my God, Dad, look, no, he's pushing me, he's pushing me. Say something, say something. Come on, say something. 
face. Let's say, quit yelling, guys, or you're gonna sit on the naughty spot. Okay, that's better. It's embarrassing. You don't fight. Why? Because if you do, I'm gonna put you on the naughty spot. I think it did help, though. I'm five years old, why? Daddy doesn't like that and it's inappropriate. Why? Because you're being bad. Don't ask me why anymore. <laughs> you're making me sweat. I do need to react faster to the situations. I just need to practice and I'll get it down. Give me five. You've got it, okay? Remember, I see, I say. That's exactly what you need to be doing 24 seven. And I think he's realizing that he needs to be able to push himself as a father in order to be able to project what he wants to with his own children. Right, this is what we're going to do, separation technique. Okay. On the DVD footage, I saw that Dad failed to do the last step of the separation technique. I want you to get your stuff ready. So on the hop, I literally told Mum, you're going. OK. Right. OK, let's go. Let's start. Be back. Grant, Mommy's going to run an errand, and I'll be back in 10 minutes. Mom, and I'll... there's a horsey on there. There he is. Today, Aaron left. Hey, guys. I'll be back shortly. Let's get the horsies out. Gave me about a two-second notice, so I took Grant to build a barn, and we played horses. Pick out the horses, Grant. And he was fine with that. It worked out great. I felt pretty confident leaving. I didn't really feel any guilt. I didn't stop, I didn't look back. I just went on, and so I felt good this time. Jacob's starting to take a bigger role in the house, and part of that is spending more time with the boys, so I set them up with a game. Grant, it's your turn first. So as soon as you see a light, I want you to hit it. And after you've hit it, Ian, it will be your turn. But suddenly, Ian started to get an attitude. <laughs> Make sure you're giving him direction. Yet again, Dad just sat there while Ian started to hit him, and he did nothing. Dad, what, are we ignoring that? Are we? So if I came and just punched you in the side of the head, would that be all right? Or kicked you in the leg? Ian, you do not hit Daddy. If you do again, you're going to sit on the naughty spot. No, you are. Right, off he goes. Come straight down to his level. Give him eye contact. Ian. Low toned authority voice, Dad. You're on the naughty spot because you hit Dad. Stupid thing, Look away. Let's have fun with Grant. Grant's been a very good boy. <laughs> Dad, I hope you've got eyes at the back of your head because you're playing and you're also dealing with a discipline. <laughs> Address the situation there. Do not kick me, Ian. Dad did really well. He kept putting Ian back onto the naughty spot, and he remained consistent. Just leave that one up, Grant. I did feel confident that I was going to handle Ian being on the naughty spot, and I followed through with it. It actually worked out really good. Jacob still needs a little bit more encouragement when it comes to discipline, but he's come a long way, and I definitely think he's starting to get the hang of it. You don't talk to Daddy like that. I want an apology. Sorry. Thank you. It is a good book. Jacob and Aaron have definitely learned that they need to take ownership of the roles that they play in this household and with their children. I think that Jacob's learnt throughout this process that he needs to start speaking up. Night, night, sweet dreams, OK? Mm. And these little boys need to do as they're told now, and they know it. Sweet dreams. My work is done here. So make sure you continue to communicate. Before Joe came, I was just constantly upset, nervous, frustrated. And things just seemed so much more relaxed. You take care. Thank you. Take care Thank of yourself. yourself. All right, give me a hug. Sure. It's been a really fun experience working with the Harmony family. They've learned a lot, and I think to be able to work with this family and educate them in a way that is going to make a huge difference has been very fulfilling and rewarding for me.
thankfully, we were blessed enough to have Joe come into our home and turn everything around for the better. Jacob and I and the kids, its I've just seen such a tremendous difference. Oh, wait, it's yeah. Anna's turn. I need to get one now. Thanks to boy now. I think now we have more quality time with the kids. Riding a horse? I'm definitely enjoying the kids a lot more now. I definitely feel that Jacob has grown through all this. I'm proud of you, honey. I'm proud of the things that I've seen. My brothers have changed with not yelling and fighting as much. Go! Our family is more playful. <laughs> I really didn't think things would change that fast. Joe came and laid down the techniques, and it was amazing that it works so well. Hi, Dad. <laughs> no words could express the thanks that Jacob and I have for her for just taking the time to come and help a family just get back to happiness. Thank you, Joe. Joe.